Welcome back. Today I have my Porsche 944 rally car on the dyno. I've entered three rally crosses with this car now, and each time I've had problems. I come back to the shop. I thought that I had the problems fixed. I go to the next rally cross and it's broken again. So today I've got the car on the dyno. I have a bunch of equipment hooked up and hopefully that will give us a clue to what's wrong with the car. This car does not use ODB2. It is way too old for that. So I have some manual diagnostic tools hooked up. I have a fuel pressure gauge over there. I'll put a camera facing at that. I do have a voltmeter over there. Just make sure that the voltages are okay. We are getting AFR on the dyno. I also have the lead for the ignition hooked up from the coil. So we'll be able to monitor the spark coming out of the coil. And what we want to do is try to replicate the later runs in the rally cross when the car is getting hot and it's not wanting to run at all. We'll see, is the car trying to cut its spark? Is it losing fuel pressure? Or what's just going on with it? And hopefully after seeing the results from this, we'll figure out how to fix this car. Okay, that was very interesting. I started the car up and then I did a final check to make sure everything was okay. And then the minute that I turned on the parking lights so that I could see the gauges better, the car died and it wouldn't restart. And look at this, the wire from the coil to the distributor just came apart and it's super, super corroded. So could this have been my problem all along? I need to replace this wire and then I probably want to keep testing this car. It could have been not heat or anything else. It could have just been vibrations that was vibrating this and causing my lock, lack of power at the rally cross. But just like every other time when I fix something, I think I've got it fixed and I'm not really sure. So I need to replace this wire and then we'll do the test anyways. I picked up some new ignition wires. These are from Clevet. These seem to be really high quality wires. I will replace all of them eventually, but for now, I just put the coil wire back on and let's go on with the testing. I also did order a cap and rotor as well as spark plugs. I'll put those in later. Let's see if it runs okay now. Since I think the problems might be temperature related, I'm going to make a run right now with the engine fairly cool. We have close to 40 PSI fuel pressure right now. Let's make a run and see if we see any changes. There's a lot of smoke coming from up front. And oddly, I also saw the low voltage light popping on as well. I think the smoke is oil burning off of the exhaust manifold on this cylinder. All the rest look dry. I hope that there isn't a problem with that piston. Okay, if we look at the graph, the car made 122 horsepower and 125 torque. That's pretty much exactly what you would expect from a uh, Porsche 944 1985 model. Should have around 143 horsepower. This calculates out to about 140 horsepower. So this looks okay. We did have a slight issue with our ignition at the beginning, but no other problems throughout the run. Now let's run it a few times, get it hot, and see if there's any difference. The temperature gauge is now halfway up. Let's make another run. Our fuel pressure is looking the same still. The electric fan on the Porsche is running and is keeping the temperature right there in the middle. I'm going to keep running up and down on the dyno and hopefully we can heat it up and see if it does misbehave at all. But right now it's running pretty good. And I'll just bring it down immediately and go straight back to it. Mm -hmm. 
starting to get some temp. Fuel pressure still looks good. All right, now that everything's hot, let's make one last run and see if the spark plug wires were the main culprit. Looks like on all three runs, there was a breakup in the ignition at low RPM, so I definitely need to replace all the wires, the cap and the rotor. But if we look at the power, our run where the temperature was in the mid of the scale was our highest. That was 126 horsepower. That's pretty good. That's exactly what we want to see. The horsepower came down a little bit on that last run where it was really, really hot. I'm not getting the car to have any problems like it did at the rally cross. Of course, that is what has been happening to me all the time, but I have not run on the car on the dyno yet. So I'm going to replace all those ignition parts and then I guess we need to take it back to Rallycross and see if it's fixed. So that's going to be it for today. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.